Hello, welcome to USA ESTA on information video. One, what is ESTA? ESTA is an abbreviation for Electronic System for Travel Authorization. The government of the United States developed ESTA as an online application system to help in pre-screening the travelers before being allowed to board a ship or airplane headed to the United States. It has been a requirement by the government of U.S. since January 12, 2009 for any person entering the country to have an approved ESTA as a travel authorization. ESTA acts as an automated system for determining the eligibility of the visitor traveling to the United States under the Visa Waiver Program. Authorization is not a determinant of the admissibility of a traveler to the United States through ESTA. Upon the arrival of the visitor in the U.S., the officers from U.S. Customs and Border Protection takes up the role of determining the admissibility of the visitor. The answers to the Visa Waiver Program eligibility questions, as well as the biographic information of the visitor, are collected through ESTA application. Submission of ESTA application can be made anytime before traveling, though an earlier application is recommended before the purchase of airline tickets. 2. What is the difference between ESTA application and visa? The ESTA approval is not a visa. In cases when the United States visa is required, the ESTA does not comply with legal or legislative requirements. If the traveler has a valid U.S. visa, he or she may enter the U.S. with this visa purpose and an additional ESTA approval is not required. 3. Do I need ESTA if the United States is only my transit country and my trip? Yes, you need ESTA if the United States is only your transit country and your trip. An ESTA travel authorization only seeks to permit an individual to travel to the United States, whether you want to visit or transit through to another destination of choice. It is not a guarantee to enter or transit through the U.S. by having an approved ESTA travel authorization. It is recommended that the application process begins early if your plan is to visit or transit through the U.S. within the next six months. Any traveler who is planning to transit through the U.S. and is a national or citizen of the countries which are participants in the VWP on their route to another country must have an ESTA travel authorization well in advance. After completion of the ESTA application, the wording in transit as well as the traveler's final destination must be placed into the field of address. 4. How to check ESTA status and when does it expire? You need to check the status of your ESTA travel authorization under the following conditions. If your ESTA number is lost, if you are not sure you have ever applied, and if you don't know whether the ESTA has expired or not since it is valid for only two years. The other circumstance that can prompt you to check the status of your ESTA is if you are not certain of the status of ESTA for someone in your travel group, friend or family member. For the location of the previous ESTA application, you need to complete the required field on the application form so that necessary changes can be made or status verified. After making your submission, the customer service department will help in reviewing the documentation so as to make the requested changes for updates as status is checked. After verification, you will receive the updated ESTA through email in a PDF format, giving all the valid status as checked in the system. 5. Is ESTA a requirement for children? Yes. Children need to have a valid ESTA to travel to the U.S. To be allowed to visit the United States, both accompanied and unaccompanied minors need their independent ESTA regardless of their age, provided they are citizens of the visa waiver country. The exemptions are the children who are already listed on the passport of their parents as they do not meet the qualifications for ESTA. To qualify for ESTA, children must have their passports which are unexpired, just like the adults. Children, however young they are, must have an ESTA authorization to ensure they are legally allowed to travel to the United States. Failure to make application for this authorization may see the children not allowed to board the plane or ship which is meant to transport them to the U.S. 
A similar procedure as that for an adult is followed when applying for ESTA authorization for a minor. It is therefore recommended for parents to apply for ESTAs for their children when applying for theirs, at least one or two weeks before the date of departure. It becomes easier and even faster to acquire ESTA authorization as part of a group application than when several requests are made at different times. Without any reduction, the admission fee payable for ESTA authorization for a child is payable as for that of an adult. While in the American territory, the accompanying adults or parents are held legally responsible for the children. Six. What kind of documents do I need if I want to apply ESTA online? You have to ensure that the right documents are available before commencing the application process for ESTA. You must have a special passport, known as an e-passport, which must also be valid. You cannot use the system if you do not have this kind of passport. It is easy to tell if you have the right passport, since it will bear on the cover of the passport an international symbol. The other document required is a proper identification, which is valid with a picture on it. You will as well be required to have your employment information, which is deemed most recent as well as a credit card or bank card, which is valid. The application must be filled out in the English language. Seven, can I apply for ESTA for my friend or family member? Yes, it is possible to apply ESTA for friends or family members through collective ESTA application. One person is allowed to take the responsibility of making ESTA applications for all the family members and friends provided the necessary information required to fill the application is available, such as the personal data for every traveler and their passport numbers. Families who feel like traveling to the United States for a duration that is less than 90 days and are citizens of one of the member countries under Visa Waiver Program may make an application for an ESTA online and quickly acquire the travel authorization. They are to utilize a function which allows simultaneous processing of many applications for this process. As long as one person has all the required information essential for the process, they are authorized to make ESTA application for all of that family. Eight, what would happen if I travel to the USA without ESTA? If the correct procedure is followed, you would be denied boarding the airline or ship, whichever means you choose to travel with. If you travel to the US without ESTA, the denial would be considered under the clause of failure to comply with the applicable regulations and permits of the government. This is always the general provision established in the airline contracts, mandating the passenger to provide proof that all the necessary permits are available so as to be perceived legally admissible at the port of destination. If for one reason or another, you are to be boarded without ESTA, you could be denied entry in the United States and thereby classified as an inadmissible traveler. Any person who is classified as inadmissible is believed to have failed to hold the essential requirements such as entry permits for the US. This discretionary determination could be made by the officer from the US Customs and Border Protection at the entry port. CBP at this point is within their rights and the law of the land to force repatriation of the inadmissible traveler back to his or her country of origin. Nine, what do I need to do if I'm denied my ESTA? On application of ESTA, three types of responses are expected, which include approved authorization, pending authorization, and eventually unauthorized travel. Though a huge number of ESTA applications within three days go from pending to approval at times, hopeful travelers get the response of travel not authorized, which is the denial of ESTA. Once you are denied the ESTA application, the option is to apply for a visa known as non-immigrant visa at the Embassy of the United States or Consulate. It is important to note that the services will be charged a fee at the embassies and consulates. Therefore, if you are denied the ESTA, you will need to apply for a visa at the U.S. Embassy or Consulate. 
It may sometimes take weeks, especially when it's hard to attain the appointment slots. 10. What do I need to do if my ESTA expired? You need to reapply for a brand new authorization if your ESTA has expired through submission of a new application. There is no extension for the current authorization. Just like the first time you applied, you are required to follow the instructions in answering all the required questions before submission of the new application. To reapply for ESTA, you do not have to wait until it expires. Your new application will replace the prior ESTA through its cancelization. The approval of ESTA is typically allowed for two years or till the expiry of the applicant's passport, whichever comes first. Such approval is good for several entries, implying that it can be used for more than a single entry into the United States. Upon approval of the application, ESTA provides. 11. How many days can I be in the U.S. with ESTA? While in possession of ESTA, you are allowed to stay in the U.S. for 90 days or less. And if you are planning to stay for a period longer than the 90 days, then you are required to acquire a visa at the nearest U.S. Embassy or consulate. Receipt of ESTA authorization does not imply that you can stay in the U.S. for two years, but it only allows you to travel to the U.S. following the terms and conditions set in the Visa Waiver Program. Thank you for listening.